Hey, so uh, got a couple pumps here. This is my old pump. It's 21 millimeter. This is the new 26 millimeter pump that I just acquired, and I'm putting this in my Type 1 uh, engine, 1904 I'm building for my convertible bug. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick uh, what that is. A couple people asked me on uh, how to plug it for full flow. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you real quickly the difference. I had a couple people ask me, well, what's the difference? How do you know what size the pumps are? So if you have a set of calipers, uh, basically the two different gears, here's the Wolder pump gear. If you go from the, the width of the gear, you can see here it's, uh, here, get the calipers correct, 21 millimeters. Um, Take the other gear here of the newer pump. 26 and some change. So, so that's the difference. It's a gonna be five millimeters thicker. Um, if you look here on the, you can see the pumps here. You can see the five millimeters thicker uh, protruding out from the engine block. But uh, anyway, what we're gonna be doing here is the pump has two ports. It's got a smaller port and a larger port. The larger port, port is the intake of the oil so the gears pull the oil in and then it pushes it back out through the engine block. Uh, we don't, we're going to plug this one here because the oil will come in through the big port but then it's going to go back out this uh, new uh, plate here and head over to the through a hose to the uh, oil filter and out another these studs down here that uh, you know the pump goes on to right here they may be a little bit too short once you get this bigger pump on there. So you might have to back those out, put new ones in, or use, um, I'd use uh, like this type of an Allen head bolt instead of putting studs in there. But the one thing you gotta be careful on those is if you're gonna take your pump on and off, you can tend to maybe strip out your, your uh, case. I guess if you're going to be, you know, thinking you're going to take it off and on every once in a while. So it might be better to put the studs back in at a longer level. But anyway, so let's just get started. So this uh, stuff is uh, pretty uh, soft. So just be real careful. So I've got this plug right here that I'm going to use. It's an 8 or a 14 millimeter by uh, 1.5 threads. Here's my tap. So when you get started here, um, this this uh, hole's on an angle here, so you just kinda typically take that real carefully and get the start on the tap. It's really probably the most important part because, I'll try to zoom in, it's gotta be started appropriately because it affects the rest of the threads going through, but I'll just uh, take it a little bit at a time and you're not going to really need any uh, cutting oil on aluminum because it is so soft so I wouldn't really worry about doing that it's not going to heat up or anything like that when you're trying to cut it this happens to be a ratchet tap so it's nice to just ratchet it through and just take your time All right, so I think that got pretty much all the way down. And remember, the end of your tap is tapered, so so you do have to kind of go down a little bit further than, I can see the backside here, but a little bit further than the tap allows, or that it needs to be because the threads, um, you know, if you just go to the tip of the tap, it might not allow you to thread it all the way down. So, And then when you pull this thing out, um, 
you're going to get at the top here you're going to get some burrs um, that you might need to sand off or take a file but if you look here oops look down in there you can kind of see the threads it's pretty easy pretty soft but these little spots right in here are pretty um, rough so I'm going to try to clean those up a little bit here but I'm going to check the threads out real quick to see how they turn all right let's see how this thing uh goes in there and it looks like it's going in pretty good oh yeah so then yeah it should start getting yeah it'll get tight right about right there so yeah that'll do it and so that'll get it protruded down below this curved portion of the pump so if you look on the inside plugged it pretty nicely there so, uh, so yeah, I'm going to get some, uh, some of the sawdust out of there. All right, so I got that plug in there. And uh, that should do it. I put a little bit of red Loctite, but be real careful because uh, it does get brittle and could get through your pump. But I um, don't really want the plug to come out, so I think I'm going to take the risk and make sure it doesn't come out and not worry so much about whether a little brittle piece gets in there or not. The other thing I'm going to do real quick is uh, this uh, hole here, this little tapered hole here, uh, I'm, I'm just going to clean it up in there. You probably can't really see. I don't know if the camera's kind of in a weird spot. Let's see if I can turn it over here. Spot, but basically, you look in that hole, you can see some stuff. It's a little bit, you know rough and I want to clean up the taper make sure this taper is a little bit smoothed out for the oil so I'm going to do that with a Dremel tool So I, uh, I dremeled that up a little bit here. Uh, let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. You can kind of see right in there. Um, kind of just rounded, you know, right through up through here. So that it can flow a little bit better. I don't know if it's going to make a whole lot of uh, difference, but I think it will flow a little bit better. Anyway. So that's the scoop, and make sure your gears uh, go in there well, and uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Thanks.